Hello, I'm Greg Tucker, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Community Surface Dynamics Modeling System, or CSDMS. CSDMS, sometimes pronounced with a soft C like systems, is an NSF-sponsored facility that supports research in computational modeling of Earth surface processes, where Earth surface processes means anything from engineering timescale changes in planet Earth's surface, landsliding and flooding and coastal change and whatnot, all the way to geological timescale processes like landscape evolution and deep sea sedimentation. CSDMS supports a small uh, integration facility based at the University of Colorado in Boulder, and that integration facility works with the community on various kinds of community support and engagement. It provides software and hardware resources, and it provides educational resources. And I'll give you a quick overview of a few of these. One of the things that Systems provides is a comprehensive web portal and gateway. And on that gateway, you'll find a model repository. The model repository is a collection and archive and catalog of nearly 400 model codes and related tools that have been created and shared by community members. The model repository includes links to the source code and a rich set of metadata, including bibliographical information. There is also the educational repository, which contains a variety of resources for both learning technical skills and for learners at the K-12 to undergraduate to graduate levels. I'll tell you next a little bit about CSDMS computing tools and resources, highlighting here what's known as the CSDMS Workbench. So the CSDMS Workbench is a, a collection of software tools and protocols that support and enable plug and play style integrated modeling. One of the ways that this works is that one starts off with a model code and then provides a level of standardization of that code, whatever language it may be written in, by providing it with an API called the Basic Model Interface. The basic Model Interface is just a set of functions that handle model control, like initializing a model, updating it for a time step, and so on. And that can be implemented in one of several different languages. Once you have provided a standard API, the Basic Model Interface, there is then a set of tools that can be used to give that model a Python front end. And that means that that model now can be driven directly through Python and combined with other kinds of Python workflow. To help make that process a little easier, Systems provides what's called the Python modeling tool that allows you to import particular models that have been wrapped in Python, as well as various kinds of utilities. Here's an example. On the left is a short script in the form of a Jupyter notebook that creates an integrated source to sync model by combining two previously separate models, one that does tectonic uplift and landscape evolution on land, the other that does offshore sedimentation in a river delta. These two models are integrated with a short Python script. One is written in C, the other is written in C++, and a grid remapping utility takes care of interpolating variables between the two different types of grid that these two different models use. There is another tool that I'd like to tell you about. It's called the LandLab Toolkit, and it is designed to create new generations of models. It's a Python language toolkit. It's used to create Python language models, and it provides many of the things that are normally a headache to create when writing a new model. Things like setting up a grid, whether it's regular or irregular, input and output, layering of state variables, handling boundary conditions, and that kind of thing. LandLab Toolkit also provides a component modeling capability, and I'll show you a little bit about that with the example that's shown here. This is an integrated simulation built as a LandLab script that creates a simulation of the erosion and rifting and sedimentation around a hypothetical island microcontinent. There is a Lystric normal fault running diagonally down the middle of this island, creating a seaway. And all of that is simulated through a script that brings in a collection of pre-existing land lab components. One of them handles flexural isostasy, one does flow routing, one does fluvial erosion and sedimentation, one does submarine uh, sediment redistribution, and so on. And that gives you a little bit of a, of a flavor for the land lab toolkit. I'll tell you next a little bit about systems support for individual projects and proposals. The CSTMS integration facility has two senior software engineers who have a great deal of experience in working with project teams. 
both at the proposal stage and at the project stage. At the proposal stage, we can help you think about how to enhance the broader impacts of your project by creating lasting digital artifacts from your models that can live on after a project winds down. At the project stage, we have a couple of different mechanisms for collaborating with project teams in which our software engineers will provide expertise and help in coupled modeling, use of systems tools, creation of new code, use of collaborative version control platforms, and a variety of other topics. One of the ways they can do this is through a, essentially a direct consulting arrangement in which um, the University of Colorado can issue invoices for hourly consulting time. So that's a quick snapshot of CSDMS. Here are a couple of resources if you'd like to learn more, an online manuscript that describes CSDMS, the web portal itself, and we're always happy to hear from you. Just email csdms.colorado.edu.